Hello, and welcome back to Coin Lady Channel. This week has been pretty hard, I've been working longer hours than intended, but before I get started, I want to make sure you know two things, one, I'm not ignoring you in the comment section, and two, I am going to make the next era movies you've been requesting at QNT and the next DC video. After I catch up, I plan to start covering other cryptocurrencies in films as well. Second, I created a film that serves more as a calming message on XRP. Since it failed to explode in value past $10, an influx of new investors has suddenly poured into this cryptocurrency. I still believe that once XRP gained clarity, we are set up for a tremendous run up from here. And I wanted to make a video to reassure you all. So if you're interested, go ahead and watch that video, I'll be covering XRP's rapid expansion in this one. Ripple is following XRP's lead in applying for licenses in the United Kingdom and Ireland. We have applied for crypto asset registration in the UK and a payment license in Ireland as a hedge against the SEC. All of these large expenditures are being made with the expectation that our expansion in this region would continue at an exponential rate, with global reverberations. And even if it's simply huge Ripple announcements, they're setting the groundwork for XRP to be a future payment system. Breaking Australian government-owned National Bank is working with Ripple to adopt XRP. This is a really big deal. Australia's largest bank, NAB, has made headlines by announcing it will be accepting XRP, the native cryptocurrency of Ripple, for international government payments. To facilitate international trade, that's the kind of discourse that excites both you and me about the potential of XRP. Through this agreement, NAB will be able to utilize XRP as a bridge currency to make international payments that are both swifter and more cost-effective. This is how you and I will become wealthy in the near future. Also, I think RippleNet is fantastic. But that has a ripple effect, and the ripple effect nets them entry. They claim later on here at XRP, we have the special ingredient. With the Brazilian payment institution license in hand, on-demand liquidity Ripple user DeLocal can now link up with pictures, an approved EFX provider, to conduct a wide variety of limitless cross-border currency operations. Even if it isn't Ripple directly, XRP will be introduced by the partners of Ripple who are still using the Ripple network in the future. Think about it. We could hit the four-digit mark if XRP were used in just 10% of daily financial transactions. Furthermore, I anticipate that XRP will be used in more than just 10% of daily financial dealings. In the future, I predict that Ripple will steal a larger share of SWIFT's market share than it now does. When your bank fails, have you ever wondered why that is? Or perhaps a major bank run occurs in the United States. This tweet sums it up nicely. Since 2020, the reserve requirement for U.S. banks has been nil. John can borrow the full $100,000 from the bank, provided he deposits the entire sum. Now both John and Sarah have $100,000 in the bank. Into hers, if you will. 100K appeared out of thin air. The bank doesn't have the $100,000 in cash if John and Sarah try to withdraw it. A bank run describes such an event. Indeed. That's what the banking industry is currently doing. This is why financial institutions will have a severe liquidity problem in the near future. For the obvious reason that once anything happens, everyone wants their money at once and the bank doesn't have any. There is no protection from the Federal Deposit Insurance Corporation. Either one is fine with me. That's why I predicted additional bank mergers in the near future, things will get worse before they get better. But as XRP investors, I see a bright future for the currency. The Federal Reserve has also just announced the introduction of its own cryptocurrency program for real-time monetary transactions. Now, let me tell you something, right now, everyone is claiming that the Federal Reserve is about to kill crypto, but it's not always the case that everyone thinks the worst. So, allow me to demonstrate the subject matter at hand. The Federal Reserve, the banking industry as a whole, and the SEC all oppose cryptocurrencies on the grounds that they are only ever used for illegal purposes like money laundering. 
At least Ripple is designed to integrate with established banking institutions. The corporation was then in the midst of defending itself in a case filed by the SEC. The Federal Reserve has chosen to develop its own payment system that will be speedier than remittance giants like Western Union and MoneyGram and will be able to keep clients away from cryptocurrencies. This system will work within the existing, fiat currency-based banking system. In addition, the Fed has been considering the development of a CBDC, a cryptocurrency based on the US dollar. That's the Fed's ballgame, as I mentioned. That includes both the treasures and the games. They're attempting to trick us into thinking it's something else, but it'll end up being a CBDC in disguise. The term Fed now wasn't initially used until early 2021. The Federal Reserve and Volante Technologies, a Ripple's customer, started working together to create this instant payments service. Whose technology do you suppose the Federal Reserve uses? Ripple Labs and the Fed have both recently joined the ISO 222 Bayes network. The Federal Reserve has selected it as one of several Ripple customers to aid in the development of the Fed's payment system. Since January 21st, ACI International has been working on it as well. The Federal Reserve has already implemented the technology behind these ripples. When banks begin to fail and desperately require liquidity, what do you think will happen? What do you know, all of a sudden they implement XRP, and probably XLM as well. Since this is the global rollout of the new financial system, I also believe that HBAR, Q, and T will be included. Nonetheless, skepticism persists. Listen, the Federal Reserve is not going to foster domestic competition prior to accepting Ripple as a viable option. In doing so, they will join forces with other cryptocurrencies such as Ripple and XRP, Stellar and XLM, Heddara and HBAR, and many more. For the simple reason that nobody enjoys drama. They aren't interested in rival businesses either. Joining forces with an adversary is simpler than going to war against them. That's why I stated the Fed needs to accept XRP, it has no choice. After a while, Rep. Richie Torres has been quite vocal in his disapproval of FCC Gov Chair Gary Gensler, claiming that Gensler is actively working to undermine the cryptocurrency business. Indeed, such is the case at the present time. The Republicans have introduced a new law, and you know why the Democrats hate it? It gives the Commodity Futures Trading Commission more authority. The Commodity Futures Trading Commission is not corrupt in my view. So, you see, these politicians want to maintain the authority in the hands of Gary Gensler because they can manage him and the SEC, but I think they're going to have a hard time controlling the CFTC. U.S. presidential candidate Patrick L. Riley predicts that, at just $11, XRP will overtake Bitcoin as the most popular cryptocurrency. It's not an F, it's a win your best guess when below, and I think XRP is going to be the top cryptocurrency sooner than many think it's going to happen at under $11. Just give it some time. That's why I constantly stressing how important it is to not let go of it. Don't sell your XRP just yet. The price is too low. The Democrats in the House aren't thrilled about the new Republican headquarters. This is exactly what I was describing earlier. For the simple reason that they oppose excluding the SEC. Take a look at how they were all palling around with Sam Bankman fried, they had to have told the SEC about Sam Bank being fried before FTX went down, right? That's why I think Gary Gensler is as corrupt as the day is long. He hasn't been able to hide his impropriety, and it's obvious to see. We all made it public in the crypto world, so it's not hard to figure out. David Schwartz, CTO of Ripple, discusses potential uses for XRP beyond gas token on the XRP ledger. This is fantastic news since it exemplifies XRP's power. Schwartz highlights the properties of XRP that set it apart from other gas tokens on the XRP ledger. Auto bridging is one such function that boosts XRP liquidity on the network and promotes its utility, which in turn raises demand. With auto bridging, XRP ledger assets may be seamlessly traded with one another, eliminating the need for separate order books for each asset pair. 
XRP's position and utility within an ecosystem are strengthened by this function, and XRP's liquidity is enhanced across all currency pairs on the XRP ledger. That's where XRP shines. But for now, I'll just leave you with this. We entered the crypto space with an eye on the future of XRP. You know, back in the day, it was really tough to see. Today. You may see it in front of your eyes. Look at all these CBDCs springing up in different parts of the world. Take a look at the current discussion surrounding tokenization. That's the future of secure communication. I emphasized it because I want to demonstrate a gradual accumulation of benefits, whether they be monetary or psychological. As a result, the price of XRP suddenly skyrockets and people sell, but then tokenization occurs. The value of XRP skyrockets. If you had waited to sell at the second price point, you would have made more money. Therefore, I believe that keeping XRP in a long-term investment is the best course of action. Track the progress of this cryptographic procedure. The reality of the situation will be revealed. In this section, we will examine the sources and mechanisms of value creation. That way, you'll have a clearer picture of XRP's potential development paths. But we'll cover that in more detail in subsequent videos. And on that note, I'm going to end this and say thanks for watching. I value every single one of you. Please like and subscribe my channel. See you later, bye.